G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, it's gonna be a very quick one. We're gonna see whether or not the traction control, specifically the crawl control function in this Land Cruiser 200 series can get the vehicle out of a bogging in soft sand. So this morning we're on beautiful beach down near Barrow Bay in Western Australia. Another perfect day down here. As you might be able to see behind me, coming in last night trying to turn around, it's pretty soft. Tires are already let down on the car. So let's try and get the cruiser bogged and see whether that crawl control function works in getting it out without using the aids of max tracks, shovels or snatch straps. I was fully expecting to get bogged. It's not quite up there. I thought it was a bit harder up there. So we're going to move the camera a bit closer. I'll try and get out without using traction control first. We'll see how we go. So you guys can see all the way around the car, we are well and truly bogged. Probably sitting up on those uh, diffs and axles at the moment. This back wheel's going right down, past the depths of the hub. Be pretty impressed if uh, crawl control can get us out of this, to be honest. That one is right down as well. In order to get the car bogged, we had the traction control system completely off. So that's turned off, which means it's just open diffs. The car's just gonna send power to the wheel with the least resistance. So in order to turn that back on and then turn crawl control on, press the traction control button by the driver's right knee. On the Sahara model, this will take us to the multi-terrain select. Now keep in mind, this option is only available when you are in low range four wheel drive, which we've already got it in to get here in the first place. So you wanna stick the car into drive, and then you want to press this little on off switch next to the uh, gear shifter here that turns crawl control on. You use this rotary knob down the bottom here to select the speed. So we're going to choose a fairly medium to high speed, probably a four out of five, and we're going to let the car do its own thing. So let's see how we go. Take your foot off the pedal, and just let the car do its thing. It makes a bit of noise while it's going along, but just let it do its own thing. I'm going to turn it up to speed 5 out of 5. I'm just going to put a little bit of left and right input in as well, see if that makes any difference. So we are making a little bit of forward progress, not much, but we are definitely moving little bit further forward. See there we get a bit of shuddering going which just means we're getting down to some of that wet sand. Just while you're doing this as well just make sure you keep an eye on all your temps as well. The car's going to get a bit warm just by sitting here on the spot working like this. So we are moving forward just very slowly. We're not yet out of that bog just yet though. progress. Okay, we're just going to pause there for a moment. We are making progress. I'm just going to move the outside camera. Okay, so we're going to try again. Back into drive. Crawl control on. High speed. Let the car do its own thing.
still in that soft sand. So again, we're just going to reset. Look at that, we're out. We're out of that soft sand now, and we're in something that we can actually drive on. How good is that? No digging, no max tracks, no sash traps. Press the button and we're out of the bog. Pretty happy with that. Well, there you have it, guys. That was unbelievable. I actually personally was a little bit skeptical, a bit worried about how bogged I was at the start there. Um, that was right down. You know, we're really sitting there on those axles in the front bash plate and just the electronics of this car just provided each of those wheels with even power at the right time just to slowly pull us out. So a couple of things I noticed there, patience is a key. At the start there, it didn't look like we were doing, doing much, didn't look like we were going anywhere. But give it a little while, let it do its thing. I mean, it was pretty bad anyway, it's not gonna get too much worse. And it did just pop out in the end. But you can have a look at some of these tracks here. Uh, we were down pretty deep and it's pretty soft here as well. Once you're in that, it's quite hard to just get out and up onto the harder stuff. You can see from these tracks as well, we're actually scraping along parts of the undercarriage of the four-wheel drive. You can see in the center between those two axles. So really happy with that, really impressed by it. And it saved me a lot of digging and uh, using the max tracks to get out. So if you have one of these 200 series Land Cruiser, I'll tell you what, give our uh, crawl control a go when you're stuck on the beach. It's not gonna work all the time, but when it does, definitely saves a lot of effort. So I should mention as well, there are many different ways to recover yourself on a beach. Uh, there's everything from just digging out manually, digging those tracks in front of the car, trying to get a ramp up back onto the hard sand. You've obviously got the max tracks, and if you have more than two, say up to four, like I carry on my car, that's gonna help as well. Uh, you could also uh, snatch strap off another four-wheel drive if you are in convoy. It's probably the simplest and easiest way to do it. Uh, and the other option is just to winch. Now, winching on a beach is always going to be a little bit difficult. You might be lucky enough to come across a beach like this with some rocks where you might be able to put a harness around using a bridle strap. However, it's not ideal. Um, worst case scenario, you can dig a hole into the sand, put something heavy like a spare tyre and try and winch off that. Uh, but that's you're really looking at worst case scenario there. It's going to take a long time and a lot of effort. Now, the other thing that's going to help you big time is tyre pressures. In the event you are stuck on a beach, tyres coming in emergency, you can lower them right down if you have to. Keep in mind, you have to adjust your driving style be a little bit gentler so you don't roll a tire off the beat but you can lower them right down to say 5 psi if you really have to on the car today we're running about 17 psi on the front and about 18 19 on the back so lower but it could have gone lower if we really did come into some trouble but keep that in mind you do have multiple options and uh, multiple variants in those tire pressures to help you get out of a bog there you go guys, that is Crawl Control of the Land Cruiser 200 Series getting us out of a bog on the sand. So I'm really happy, really impressed with the system. Uh, that worked a lot better than I thought it would. So if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about how these systems work and how to engage them all, use Crawl Control, Turn Assist, Traction Control, all those things, check out my other video. We'll go into a lot more detail about how to actually operate the car in those different scenarios. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, queries, hit us up on Facebook or Instagram at Exploring Oz. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Better grab my shovel. I got it out because I was uh, a bit doubtful that the troll control would actually get us out there, but pretty impressed. Pack away and time to move on.